Hi again, everyone, and hello to you guys who haven't seen me before. Anyway, my name is Ingo. I make the video actually for my friends right now because yesterday I met someone who uh, just asked me to do some work for him on his farm. I'm a master carpenter and, and, and joiner by the way and I obviously like shooting so yeah he was asking me to do some work on his farm and on his farm and then when he came here he saw my rifle and <laughs> he said do I have some other problem as well I said yeah what yeah, I have some animals on my farm which I actually don't really like to have over there. And I say, yeah, no problem, I can get rid of them. I, when I bought that rifle a couple of years ago, I used to work in a very, very old hotel here in the UK. So I am in the UK for those people who don't know because the video is obviously on YouTube so everyone can see it. I live in the UK. I'm a German. <laughs> obviously. <coughs> anyway. I worked in a hotel, beautiful, very old, haunted by the way. And it, it was truly haunted. Um, I worked as security maintenance guy and yeah I was the only one who, who lived at the hotel as well. Uh, we have a lot of, of problems with rats and other kind of animals because it was really it was a hotel very close to the forest and in the hunting season all the hunters came over there so it was beautiful the hotel but very old lots of work to do in this hotel and it was running by a family, very nice Indian family, by the way, but very nice. And yeah, <laughs> and then I said to the owner, to Papa, I said, uh, Papa, I can get rid of the animals, you know. So and then I found on the gun channel that baby for sale. It was a bit different at this time, but it was. Um, of a price, yeah, by a British soldier we have found out later. He came miles away in the middle of the night to my hotel. Not my hotel where I work. It was on a Sunday, and the hotel was always on a Sunday close. Well, there are personal reasons. It's an Indian family, everything works a bit different. So I was always in this hotel. So he came in the middle of the night, and he had to sit in as well, and another air rifle is not. Sniper rifle. That's a German MCX 601. I used to have the original one, but not here in the UK. That's about my another history. So anyway, I, I fell in love with that baby, so I bought that baby. <laughs> we start to get rid in this order of a lot of yeah. <laughs> Rats, whatever, were over there, which we didn't really want to have in a hotel. It was quite really uh, a pest control. There were uh, so many of these rats, and they had cats, but they, they couldn't get rid of the rats. And Joy, uh, it was quite a lovely shooting uh, <laughs> practice for me. Anyway. Over the years, I have that rifle right now. I'm, I'm talking too much. I want to talk actually about my idea. I live now in Gloucestershire in the UK, in Cheltenham. So, uh, like I said, right now my client said to me, Ingo, can you get rid of, of, of that? So I'm gonna offer, probably, but even right now with the video, um, if anyone lives around Gloucestershire, whatever, or in the UK, and you have a farm, huge factory, whatever it is, and you need to get rid, rid of, yeah, let's say it's simply pest control, 
in a different way uh, when I'm talking too much and my mouth gets a bit dry so but I want to explain for you guys well first on on me <coughs> and what I'm talking about so let me introduce my wife in what I'm calling uh, a different way of test of work many 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 so far as I know air gun shooters around the UK not just around the UK they, they do this on their farms whatever so I'm gonna explain you for those who don't know much about rare air rifles uh, yeah it, it, it is safe <laughs> a safety way to get rid of pets so and we know that the poisons and whatever doesn't really work out but trust me that works out because I usually don't miss so give me one second uh, let me send you introduce you to my 6 or M6 air rifle. I <coughs> did this kind of video quite a few times before I'm YouTube uh, for different reasons and I'm still filming with my Chinese mobile phone so that's why forgive me <coughs> so anyway I don't know if you can see it first this baby is definitely not the toy even it is an air rifle and it shoots 177 pellets. But how I set it up, yes, I know it looks military style, and that's just my setup for fun, um, tactical self defense training, which I practice quite often. <laughs> And everyone of my friends who likes to go shooting, I teach them shooting. So that's quite a military setup. How would you call it in English? I, forgive me, my English, I'm German. So my English is obviously not the best. Yeah, I set it up <coughs> with a vector hunting scope which has a red and a green dot and five different um, brightness levels. Uh, my setup, which I call my viewfinder, I have my Chinese, <laughs> yeah, it's a Chinese product. It's a laser and a torch, wide angle torch. So, and here's my second torch, which is more like a spotlight. Anyway, that's my setup. And so, always when I'm having my rifle in my hand, I'm obviously talking too much about my rifle. So, I'm, that, that's my M17, also the 6 hour on my sidearm. <coughs> so, it is quite, it's quite alright. But, yeah, I like to shoot more rifles for different kind of reasons, but of course I shoot <laughs> my pistol quite a lot as well, but I have that one just a year, but for some reason not so really happy with that one. 
I don't want to explain about the technical things why I'm not so. There were quite a while, and thanks to that soldier, I forgot your name. Uh, I still have your baby, and I appreciate that even I took it out in, in, in parts <laughs> quite, quite a lot to. Yeah, just I, I'm a German, that's a German writer, and if I know I can make it better, I do it by myself. I'm a craftsman. So, to make sure <clears throat> I have yours simply now, if you, if you guys have a farm or whatever, um, I know what I'm doing, so I'm, I'm doing it in a safe way. So, if you want to get rid of <laughs> some animals you do not want to have on your farm, Give me a call, you will find the link below where you can find me or on Facebook, whatever. But I'm really serious, or if you need me as a, as a master carpenter, I'm a master carpenter and joiner, and I'm definitely a craftsman in the fourth generation of my family, so um, I have quite a good reputation here in Cheltenham and around uh, Gloucestershire. Just give me a call, you will find out. I appreciate it for watching. Cheers and stay safe, we still have the bloody coronavirus. <laughs>